Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I wanted to go ahead and give my review on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, Georgia. Well, Atlanta, not Atlanta, Georgia. Anyways, all right. So, the episode starts off cute. The episode starts off cute. Shout out to all the new subscribers. My name is Rodney. Um, I have a neighbor who lives above me and I don't know if it's a man or a woman, um, but they tend to walk very hard. I thought whoever it was had up and died. <laughs> That's not funny. I thought they really had went to glory. I did that crossed my mind and then I was like well maybe they're on vacation because I realized that I hadn't heard I've gotten so used to them walking where it doesn't really bother me it just really irritates me or bothers me when I make a video because then I feel like it bothers y'all but I hadn't even realized that I hadn't even heard the walking until probably like a couple of days ago and I was like Girl, what happened to the person that lived above me? Did they die? <laughs> Girl, maybe they went on vacation. And then literally, like it's like right when I thought about it, girl, that's when I heard some walking. I think they work out. I think that's what it is. Because it's been it's been times where it'll be like 6 30 in the morning, 7 o'clock, and it sounds like they're doing jumping jacks. So just a heads up. Um, whenever you hear that, that's that heavy foot up there. All right. All right. So Kenya, Kenya, this is the Real Housewives of Atlanta, um, review. All right. So Kenya looks absolutely gorgeous, pretty in pink. Okay. She's going to meet up with a party planner. Um, I think it's the same person she said planned Cynthia's engagement party you know she threw an engagement party i think last season for cynthia um she lets us know the party planner lets us know that the party is going to be anywhere from 20 uh, anywhere between 10 to fifteen thousand dollars. one thing i'm low-key going up uh for this season is that the girls they're making the girls spend money and they're making the girls tell us how much these events are costing Marlo. How much your party costing? Forty thousand. Oh, okay. <laughs> Somebody said that was the same um, venue that they had the reunion in. <laughs> the reunion, I think, where Kenya had on the yellow dress. I think a, a, I think a few other reunions they had in that same in that same space. That's why I think they were saying that oh, this space is, is is expensive because they had the reunion there before. I think a few times, I believe. Um, and now they're, you know, Kenya's letting us know that the party is ten to fifteen thousand dollars. Now I'm not gonna lie, when she started, you know, <laughs> telling the party planner, you know, obvious, obvious, ob, 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 obviously, um, I'm going through a divorce. And I was like, girl, I know, girl, girl. I said, I know my girl is not about to ask for a discount. And then I was like, okay, well maybe she has some type of relationship with this person being that she has worked or hired her before. Um, and then when I figured out what was going on, I think what Miss Kenya Summer Moore was doing was letting us know that Mark ain't and that she put in a bill for their daughter's party by herself. I know somebody gonna say, well girl, did nobody tell her to go spend ten to fifteen thousand dollars on a birthday party? But I think it's still, it's still, it's, she's still letting us know that Mark ain't doing nothing but, but just throwing a little child support over there, <laughs> okay? And girl, I want to know how much that is, quiet as it's kept. You know, some of y'all who don't know nothing about child support gonna say she need to use that check to pay for that party. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't get in my comment section. Defending Mark Bailey. Please don't. Girl, you might be the third person I don't, I don't probably blocked two people over my whole time being on YouTube. Please don't make me, please don't become the third. <laughs> Do not get in my comment section trying to defend Mark Daly. <laughs> Anyways, Sheree and Marlo, they meet up. 
<laughs> Marlo lets us know that she's an actress. She has an IBMD, <laughs> whatever she said. She couldn't even get it right. Um, Sheree basically tells Marlo, well, Marlo and Sheree meet up to work out, but Sheree's the only one that's working out. Marlo really just came to be messy and get some tea. Um, she says that Candy, Sheree feels a type of way about Candy, basically, and this is the truth. Candy, you messy. You messy. Girl, was Sheree pretty much broken down? You see, she, <laughs> yeah, you see she had Candy running about the building talking about, I gotta get my daughter and go. No, Sheree was about to get off into your ass. Remember when you told Nene at the reunion? Yeah, when well, Sheree had your ass running out the building. No, baby, Sheree had your ass running out the building, okay? You messy. You done went around town and told everybody about this assistant. We're going to get into her ass in a little bit, girl, except for Sheree. Sheree, I know some people going to say, girl, Sheree is messy, blah, blah, blah. She's a bone carrier. But, girl, the truth of the matter is you could have told Sheree just off the rip. She said, she, Candy said she wanted to give Drew a chance to tell Sheree herself. <laughs> I mean, I guess, girl, at the end of the day, girl, we all gossip, right? Um... <laughs> when Sheree said, baby, the street, when Sheree said, the streets be talking, baby. <laughs> and then she giggled. <laughs> and then she took a sip of that Red Bull. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love Sheree this season. <laughs> I don't know what y'all say. Sheree, confessionals are funny. I think that she is bringing the mess this season. We all only on episode three. I'm here for Sheree and her return back to Real Housewives of Atlanta. I think Sheree is going to earn her check. And she's going to earn her peach for next season. Girl, if it's the next season. All right. Um, Marlo can't read. <laughs> That's just the end of the cup. That's just the end of it. Marlo was like, she sent a text message about her kid's birthday party. Girl, what was she supposed to say? I mean, I guess she could have done something a little more grand, being that she spent ten to fifteen thousand dollars on the party. But being that she spent ten to fifteen thousand dollars on the party, can you say y'all hoes gonna get this text message, bitch? I'm tapped out. <laughs> oh, she says she could at least sent. Uh, uh, what she saying? She could at least sent a cup of tea in the mail. Marlo, that doesn't even make no sense. Then she made a joke about her her white refrigerator probably being, I think I think the hotel being a four star hotel in 1988. Marlo, poor Marlo. That's the thing when Marlo try to read, she can't read. When Marlo not trying to read, she actually be reading. <laughs> she needs to stop trying to read and just let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow, babe. Anyways, uh, Candy and Todd. Candy has a new role. I think she's going to play a lesbian or someone bisexual. Basically, she's going to have a sex scene with a woman. I don't know what her sexuality is in the movie or the role. Um, but she's going to have a sex a sex scene with a woman. Um, Todd says, I think he says something about them having sex two to three times a week. I mean, that don't sound bad to me. Two or three times a week. That don't sound bad to me. Is that bad? The married people. Girl, you ain't even got to be married. The people in relationships. Not the people in new relationships. We know y'all fucking like rabbits every day. I'm talking about the people that's been together for some years now. <laughs> okay? Whether you're married or not. It's two to three years. All the ones who have been in a relationship where it was like a long, long time. It's two to three times a week. Not as bad. I think that's good. Especially when you factor in that Candy is a very busy woman. You know, Todd take his vacations. But Candy is a busy woman. So, uh, two to three times sound, sound good to me. Isn't that what he said? Um, Todd wants to be included. I mean, girl, you already got candy money. <laughs> like, what else do you want? Girl, these niggas ain't never satisfied. They ain't never grateful. Girl, <laughs> the lifestyle you got, girl, post candy birds is not the lifestyle you had pre candy birds. What the fuck you want from candy? <laughs> girl, he say he mad. He say he mad. Come if I'm giving Todd a hard time. <laughs> Todd ain't no bomb. 
10 of them. But Ty say that he basically, when him and Candy got together, I guess, I don't know, whatever business arrangement or whatever agreement they had that they would work together, I guess on certain projects or projects that they could. Candy feels it made sense to me what Candy was saying. You, we were supposed to work on a pro, we were working on a project together. You didn't want to basically make me an, an executive producer. You only wanted me to like, you know, fill in, you know, basically be an actress in the, in whatever the movie or the TV show that I think they shot a pilot for. I, I guess that's the same thing that we're talking about. He was saying that, you know, every time they do something, basically it's Candy's name always first. I mean, Candy is a star. I mean, Candy is the, the celebrity, right? So she's all she's going to be the one that people, unfortunately, say whether it's good or bad. Because guess what, Ty? When they talking about OLG and y'all not doing taking care of y'all business and them generators going out and, girl, them people sitting in that hot-ass restaurant and, girl, y'all failing health inspections, girl, guess who name also get mentioned, mentioned first on that? Candies, <laughs> okay? They don't never say Todd. They say Candy Burris. They don't never say Todd Burris at none of the headlines. But he feels some type of way because, you know, I guess Candy is doing this project on her own. And I guess he, supposed, he thought that he would be included. But it sounds like Candy was basically telling him, nigga, you the one started it. Because, <laughs> I know that might sound childish to some people. But Candy's whole thing, from what I understand, is... We were supposed to be working together. We were supposed to be doing projects together, but you were the one who basically made this shift happen when you didn't include me on the project as, a, as an EP. So baby, I just paid you back. <laughs> and now you mad. Girl, who got their dog on the patio this way? These people so ghetto over here. Ain't that ghetto? It is 1027. I know y'all be doing the same thing. Letting y'all dogs on the patio on a work night. You know people got to get up and go to work in the morning. And I'm up here trying to be messy and run my fucking mouth. And you interrupted me. Raggedy ass self. I don't know who it is out there. Anyways, girl, I'm done talking about them. Um... Girl, they they having a whole they having a full conversation. Oh, Candy was on a Zoom was on a was having a meeting via Zoom. Girl, they forgot the man was even on the was on the computer screen. <laughs> they just sit there and had a whole probably a whole twenty five minute conversation. He's just sitting there. Ty asked him what he thought. He gave some politically correct answer, kind of basically like you know your feelings are valid. <laughs> basically, low key nigga, you wrong. It sounded like Candy right and you wrong. Okay. Um. All right. So, Miss Anthony, <laughs> Miss Anthony is a kiki. I'm not gonna lie. When she said that, uh, when she said that Georgia Power and Stream Energy wait for no one except a credit card payment, <laughs> I screamed. And at the end, when Sonya, when they went and picked up Sonya, and he said, uh, "Oh, oh God, no tacos today." <laughs> Girl. All right. Knew something was up. When I first heard this storyline introduced in season 14, I said that I literally told myself that sounded like the same storyline that was on Basketball Wives. And I let it go. Now, this is the part I did not think about. Anthony, they say, is allegedly the guy on, some of y'all may not know this, Basketball Wives, a, a season or two ago, there was a guy that was basically saying that Malaysia, basically, she, they, they were saying that allegedly Malaysia didn't take care of her kids. Her kids, I think, you know, their appearance wasn't up to par. Um, they're basically saying the guy that was on Basketball Wives starting though, I guess, spreading those lies, gossip, rumors, uh, allegedly, I'm trying to watch what I say, allegedly, said, you know, they're saying that this is the same guy. That's what they're saying, allegedly, <laughs> okay? I don't know, but I remember saying that storyline sounds like the same storyline that happened on Basketball Wives. If this is the same guy, now I am looking at him kind of sideways. 
When I tell you, baby, it's always the same girl. It's always a girl. See, I gotta, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Should I say it? I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Every time it be some mess popping off on one of these shows, it be the same messy girl. It be the same messy girl. Don't get it twisted. Yes, you got the girls on YouTube and we sit here and we be messy and we do this and it's kind of kiki and fun. But you got the girls in real life, like real, 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 real life. <laughs> okay? Like in real, 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 real life, like girl, y'all messy. And it be the same girl every time I look up trying to have a 15 minutes on these uh, reality TV shows. I don't trust Anthony. I don't, I don't trust nothing he says. Like, girl, you sit here in one bird talking about Sheree is your good, good girlfriend. She's my good, good girlfriend. But girl, and then, and then the next breath, girl, you telling her business. Which one is it? Y'all hoes don't know how to be good, good girlfriends. Because if you, she was really your good, good girlfriend, you wouldn't be on Real Housewives of Atlanta or going from VH1 to Bravo or going from a going from celebrity to celebrity, celebrity to celebrity. You know, I don't know. I just, I'm side eyeing Anthony now. Because I don't know what his motives are. I don't know. It did it, it I don't know. And I'll be honest, I really kind of like started tuning him and Drew out because I was just like, girl, girl, you a messy girl. <laughs> because it's like, are did Sheree not pay? It almost sounded like he was saying, I guess because he kind of acted like the li li liaison between Sheree and the guy that he hooked her up with, that I guess he should have received, received some type of payment. It sounds like the whoever Sheree was doing business with, that sounds like the person that should have beef with Sheree, not necessarily him. But it sounds like he feels like he probably should have got paid, I guess, for connecting Sheree to this, to this, to the to his other good good girlfriend. Girl, I don't know, girl. Anthony, I'm not gonna play this game with you, girl. Girl, I'm not playing this game with you. Y'all can have Anthony is a Anthony is a is a cute kiki on TV. He's funny. But past that, uh uh, girl, I'm not I'm not going out with you. Um, Ross. Ross is handsome. You know, Ross is really not my type. I mean, girl, one, he married. <laughs> but they never stopped us before. <laughs> and then two, he's straight. <laughs> okay. But Ross do got face. I ain't gonna lie. You know, he'll look thin to me. You know, like my boys with a little meat on their bones. Um, and gay. <laughs> Um, but, you know, Ross is very, 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 very handsome. His teeth, absolutely gorgeous. Smile, absolutely gorgeous. Um, he has a business, or I guess they have a business called Ross Elite uh, Chauffeur uh, Service. It's in Austin. Um, basically, it suffered when the bird box hit and he had to go down and try to get things situated. Um, oh, I forgot. Sonya ran into a pole. <laughs> Girl. Sonya ran into a pole. <laughs> she said she got drugged by a 10-wheeler. Girl, Sonya, girl, you done ran into a pole in the parking lot, girl. You done called your husband, hollering, screaming, and crying because you know your insurance about to go up and you know your husband, this is probably your fourth wreck. <laughs> Sonya ain't got hit by no goddamn dude. <laughs> oh, girl, y'all know y'all women cannot drive. I'm sorry, I love y'all to pieces, but y'all cannot drive, girl. Y'all be doing a lot when y'all be driving. Putting on makeup, putting on mascara, eyelashes, girl, sewing a wig, girl, cutting the lace off a wig, girl, eating a 10-piece nugget from McDonald's, dipping french fries, girl, trying to eat a burger and dipping in ketchup, girl, gluing down a wig, girl, trying to braid your hair so you can put the wig on. Girl, y'all be doing a lot when y'all be driving. Y'all really do. Y'all done got mad at y'all. Girl, how, how the fuck you put no eyeliner and driving at the same time? Girl, you're going to either poke your eyeball out or get into a wreck. Because <laughs> there's no way you're looking at that road and you got a whole eyeliner, a whole pencil going around your eyeball. Anyways. 
Sonya, you ain't hit no fuck. I ain't no decent hit you. As far as I'm concerned, you ran into a pole. <laughs> Again. <laughs> oh, okay, so Brooklyn's farting. Baby Sheree. That's Sheree. Baby, that Sheree is bad. Baby, Sheree walked into Brooklyn's birthday party. Baby. Sheree bad. Y'all like her. Y'all like that, Envi that Elvira inspired confessional look? When I first saw it, I was taken aback. <laughs> I was like, okay, girl, what, what's going on? I wasn't expecting that. But girl, I low-key went up for it. I'm not going to Girl, I low-key, after I, you know, when it first, I was like, oh, okay, okay. But after I looked at it, girl, I thought the look was low-key sickening. I did. That 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 black bang and that black high pony and the black the black V neck uh dread cut, whatever it was, shirt, whatever. I low key went up for her confessional look. So Magneta Shaw, she's um I guess gonna be a friend of the show. Um, you know, I was disappointed in what she had on girl. Everybody else pretty much kinda had, you know, kinda dressed up for the occasion. Um, even some of the friends that I saw that tagged along with the ladies. They dressed up. Um, Manuela walked in with some blue jeans on and a bomber jacket. Girl, where is you going? Girl, girl, that's the one. Remember Neo had her? Mm, I ain't going to say Neo had her. Okay. I ain't going to say he forced her. Remember, that's the one for the girls who don't know who Manuela Shaw is. That's Neo, first baby mama. The one who he made get her tubes tied. Then he went around. Then he left her and then went and had kids with another bitch. Okay, ain't that some fuck shit, bitch? Can you imagine getting your motherfucking tubes tied and then a nigga leave you and go have babies with another bitch? Bitch! No, ma'am! I mean, girl, maybe she's good. Look, I'm not gonna say he made her. It was probably her decision. I mean, I don't want no kids anyways, but I know some people want a lot of kids. I don't understand it quite frankly. <laughs> I think y'all should stop at one max two. <laughs> That's not me. That's, that y'all. Hey, I'm single, so my lifestyle is completely different. Um, that's why I probably can't envision it. But you know, maybe she wanted just maybe she just wanted two kids. Maybe that's all she wanted. Now she married to that white man. Girl, when I tell you one thing, one thing, one thing y'all niggas will do is make, is make the... <laughs> oh, I was about to say something real fucked up. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. One thing y'all niggas will do is make a black woman go date a white man. <laughs> oh, we baby. Even the black, even the ones who like the black man from Kim K on down, honey, they ain't even fuck with y'all asses no more, honey. They done went tried to get their booties back, smile to go date these white boys, girl. Y'all is put y'all doing a number on these women, and y'all refuse to accept it. Let me shut up and keep on keep on going. All right, so Drew <laughs> walked in dressed like Kenya. As soon as she walked in, I said, I seen that dress somewhere before. And then of course, Kenya mentioned it, and then they did they showed a side by side, <laughs> Drew. <sighs> Drew, girl, okay, girl, whatever. Um, Candy's late, <laughs> of course. Um, she walk in. Everybody is standing up because Kenya was about to go get Brooklyn. You know, have her walk in, and you know, and Candy walks in. Why everybody standing looking like that? <laughs> cause, cause, uh, girl. <laughs> Uh, uh, what, what, I'm about to say PJ because Brooklyn's about to walk in and she was like oh um, Kenya <laughs> this game Kenya had to she had to know that this game was a horrible idea from the get go like she had to <laughs> so she wants to play a game the shady tea game <laughs> I saw Marlo teaching Brooklyn how to drink a tea, um, not the ghetto, the right way and not the ghetto way. <laughs> Girl. Marlo, how about you go work on that name of your business that they say is spelled incorrectly? Why are you trying to teach somebody how to drink tea? <laughs> Girl. Um, Kenya plays a game about Brooklyn. I think one of the questions was like, 
What's Brooklyn's middle name? I think Marlo ended up winning the game, I think. What's Brooklyn's middle name? Uh, which says a lot. I think I think Marlo did win that game about Brooklyn. Which, again, says a lot. Okay. okay. Um, um, oh, what was Brooklyn's middle name? I think what month did she start walking? When Kenya said what month, I said, bitch, how are they supposed to know the month she started walking? <laughs> I thought she meant, like, the month. But I think she meant, like, you know, 14 months, 12 months, you know, 13 months. I think it was 14 months. Anyways, um, now it's basically the shady tea game. Like they said, how do you do fun tea? <laughs> You're supposed to tell some fun tea that you know about somebody. So, girl, one of the things was, girl, Candy sucking dick. Candy, get the question. <laughs> Candy suck dick in the locker room. You heard what somebody said? Who said that? Girl, I swear. I thought that was America's favorite housewife who had popped up in the scene. Girl, anyway, I think it was Manyetta. Um, No one owns up to it. Um, you know, when Marlo said in her confessional, what locker room? She didn't go to college, did she? Girl, with Sheree. When Sheree said, I didn't write it, but I wouldn't be surprised if she did. <laughs> I mean, she sucked that, she, she sucked dick everywhere, she sucked dick everywhere else. I mean, she done suck dick everywhere else. Bitch, when I tell you, I sat in here and laughed for about 20 minutes straight when Sheree said it. <laughs> so, Kenya, now I'm not going to lie and say I didn't see this. Either Kenya just doing her job. Y'all saw how Kenya was low-key shading candy? Like, when she walked in and she started explaining why she was late. Okay, we ain't got time for explanations. We got to keep going. <laughs> and then... When Candy was trying to figure out who said she sucked dick in the, I was about to say in the parking lot. <laughs> Same thing, locker room parking lot. Um, who uh, she sucked dick in the uh, locker room? She was like, "Okay, we can't spend too much time on this because you you came late, so we got to keep going." <sighs> so someone doesn't pay their assistant. That was a question Drew had, and of course it was for Sheree. Sheree going off. You know, she made a good point. Basically, she was low-key saying, Candy, you messy as fuck. You don't want to told every, pretty much every bitch in a circle except for me. Um, bitch, when, when, Marlo, when, Marlo was sipping, when Marlo was sipping out of her glass, when Marlo was sipping out of her glass, it was looking... <laughs> When, when Sheree was basically calling Candy out for being messy and Kenya picked up her glass and looked in the corner of her eye at, Ken, at Candy. <laughs> I'm telling you, that shit was so funny to me. Um, is this the same assistant that says your husband is gay? Okay, now look, can I say something? This scene was funny to me. But, but And I don't want to come across as someone who is overly sensitive, okay? Because, again, I did laugh. <laughs> I did laugh. But I just hate 
that we're, we're using gay as an insult. Because that's the way they're trying to make it seem. And that's the way that everybody reacted. I just want the day to come where if someone says, oh, girl, you know they say your husband is gay. Whoever it is, it's just like, girl, my husband's not gay. And then she keep it moving. Not turn, not turn into this big thing of, what? What? Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bitch, I almost choked. Oh, girl. Oh, my God. I almost choked. I almost, girl. I almost, girl. I almost, girl. Honey, my heart almost stopped beating, too. Okay? Too soon? All right. Um. Anyways, so the white woman. <laughs> the white woman gets offended. Girl, shut the fuck up because you walked your ass in to the, you know I was going to get, I, yeah, I'm about to get onto her ass because you walked your white ass into the building happy talking about what's the, what's that, what's the champagne and the wine called? Voo, Voo, I don't know how to pronounce it, girl. She happy they got something to drink. You know, white women, they love popping pills and drinking wine in case y'all ain't know. So you done came in happy. You about to get a look, girl, get you a little, you know, little free alcohol. Now, they done sat at this table, bitch, and talked about sucking dick in the locker room, done called each other ditzy bitches. <laughs> oh, was that after the white lady left? I can't remember. Girl, I'm trying to make a point. Girl, they done sat up there and talked about sucking dick, done dropped F-bombs, and now all of a sudden, girl, they talking about somebody husband being gay, and now all of a sudden, girl, it's children here. But Marlo said, girl, Kenya, don't invite your white friends. <laughs> you you all right. You cool. <laughs> Marlo was actually funny in his other phone. Oh, high five. Good <laughs> girl. Um, so when the guy when the girl says basically, you know, they start talking about Anthony, and Drew says that she's gonna put him on probation. And Candy was like, probation? <laughs> probation? <laughs> so everybody like, what? You ain't heard what she said? Girl, everybody like, you know, she just said your husband was gay. She said your husband was gay. She said that your, the enemy said your husband. So Drew was, I guess all Drew heard was the woman saying that, but she didn't hear where the information came from which allegedly the information came from Anthony. I hope I hope Andy get into their ass this season about this. Cuz y'all I know some of y'all might not get it, but it is they're they're using it. You would have you would think that after the stunt they pulled with um Kim Fields husband, remember that year and Andy had to get into their ass at the reunion that they would have learned their lesson. But clearly, they still ain't learned their lesson. So I hope you get into their ass again this year. Girl, I get it. It's funny. We can laugh about it. It's a show. It's entertainment. But it's just kind of like, girl, y'all really still trying to use the gay thing as an insult. And then y'all start kind of, I don't want to, you know, I, I'm not going to I'm not gonna sit here and call the girls homophobic. I'm just saying, because I definitely don't think that Kenya is homophobic. I definitely don't think that can, uh, Candy is. Sheree, I don't think so. I'm just going to say, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> um, um, so I'm not going to call them homophobic. I'm just saying it was just, a, it was just, a, I just wish they would have went about it a different way, probably. Or just not probably went about it at all. But it's a show, and it is what it is, girl. I guess ain't nothing off limits, including the punks, <laughs> girl. Now, girl, I will say, girl, they said rap now. Now, here I go being messy. I heard I go be a messy Ralph. Now, <laughs> they say you wanted the kids. Ralph is fine. Even I don't know how y'all. I couldn't have sex with Ralph because I, I already look at you like your character is fucked up. His character too flawed for me, girl. 
Don't make it like I really got a chance to have sex with Ralph. I'm just saying. Like, I don't even know how anybody could watch this show and then turn around and fuck Ralph. Even if they had the chance. Boy or girl. Because, like, he's just, he's, he. Uh-uh. 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 Ralph reminds me of the type of person that would have sex with a woman and lay there in bed like he just hit it out the park and the sex was probably horrible, but he thinks that he's like God, a God's gift to to women and, you know, he's sitting laying in the bed with his hands behind his head like, yeah, go fix me a sandwich and bring me a cold, and bring me a cold beer. And you ain't did, she's still sitting there, girl. She gotta go in the restroom and finish herself off. <clears throat> that's what that's what um what's his name? Whatever his name is. Drew. What's it what's her husband's name? Ralph. Anyways, girl, but they say you wanted the kids. <laughs> I don't know. Um Drew. Drew walked up to Sheree. Now did I see that right? I watched the episode twice. Did, did Drew walk up to Sheree? It looked like Drew walked up to Sheree. <laughs> Drew, mama, girl. Now, I ain't gonna say Sheree gonna fight. Because I think all the people that like to fight are gone. But you might want to watch, girl. You might want to watch your hand. <laughs> okay? Girl, I understand that you're trying to entertain the girls. You're trying to entertain the kids. But don't get snatched up <laughs> trying to entertain me. <laughs> Bitch, we ain't going to be there to help you save, to save you from that ass whooping. And Sheree look real strong. I don't know if y'all know this, but Sheree look like she be lifting weights down. Talking about um, Candy said, I don't know if you heard, but Sheree got a mean right hook. And then um, Drew said something like she got a mean, uh, she's strong everywhere or something. Girl, no, 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 no. Sheree look like she fight like a nigga. <laughs> okay? Anyway, uh, I don't know what that means because some of the niggas fight like, mm, let me shut up, y'all. Um, all right, I'm gone. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.